Hello, we meet again at Follow the Best channel. In this video just only educational purposes between Christians and Muslims. And this time Mr. Ahmed EX Muslim will give many Muslims educations the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at what Muslims said to Ahmad X Muslim so we can learn the truth from them. So enjoy watching video. Please share, comment and subscribe this channel. God bless you. Dear Allah and your religion guarantees the heaven for you if you believe in him and following his religion? Absolutely not. This handicap, Allahu Akbar, he looking for salvation. Where the proof? Where the proof? Hmm? Come send request V. Come on V. Come on Habibi. Where the proof? You bring it Surah Al Asr. Where the proof? You guarantee the heaven. Tell me which verse I recited literally for you. I recited now Surah Al Asr for you. Where the proof? Which verse? Which verse he told you if you following Allah and his apostle, you guarantee the heaven? Where? I recited wrong? Come correct me. Yalla, accept. Come correct me. Hassanin Barak Ibrahim. Barak Hassanin Ibrahim, how are you? I'm fine, brother. Adam Nasmi Ibrahim, yeah? Uh, yeah. Thank you, bro, for the good work you're doing, man. I like your content. Uh, Honestly, Islam, Islam is a cult. I, I'm also an ex-Muslim three years ago. Amen. I'm Christian. Yeah, I'm Christian. And I thank God he helped me. He helped me discern this false cult that has has fiction. Quran is full of nonsense. I mean, there's no sense. Uh, there's no spirituality. There's no wisdom that saves the heart. There's no change of hearts, you know. Nothing. And exactly. I thank I thank God opening my eyes and the love of God preached and the spirituality we receive from the Bible. Uh, when you read the Quran, has nothing to do with the the true prophets of God because uh, all all things about Jesus was prophesied and was prophecy fulfilled. Uh, when Muslims claim that they believe the prophets, there is no prophet they believe in because they don't read their message. It is their Quran that dictates, the Quran that has only stories, plagiarism, nonsense, I mean fiction, and speaking, flying carpets, I mean... Let me do one challenge, brother. Sure. Let me do one challenge. You said the Muslim saying they believe in the prophets, right? I challenge now all Muslims around the world, with all respect, our brother and sister, I challenge all to prove to me if they're following Abraham. If they're following Abraham. Prove to me from Sunnah, from Quran, anywhere. You guys, if you're following Abraham and Jacob and Isaac. Right? Sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead, brother. This is my challenge. Uh, there's, I mean, there's no, there's no proof. There's nothing like connected even to the prophets from the Quran. Uh, there's, there's no connection between the prophet. Because uh, what, uh, what I would tell Muslims that there's no one who's better than a Jew in believing God is one. Actually, Muhammad, Muhammad blasphemed the Jews, saying that they, the Jews call Uzair ibn Allah, like they call Uzair son of Allah. Which this, this Allah, this Allah just forged this stuff, but. Uh, the Jews received prophecies, like they received Jew prophets, not even Christians. 
Uh, for example, Isaiah the prophet says, A child shall be born called mighty God, prince of peace, one in the desert creating way for Yahweh. Uh, we see many prophecies actually fulfilled, talking of God himself coming in flesh. And yes. the gospel confirms it. So if all of us, Ahmed, if all of us became Muslims, for example, if they said, let's become Muslims, and we are all Muslims, the question is, where will the prophecies apply of the prophets, of the true God? Because prophecies like the Isaiah, this is not a Christian, you know, this is not a Christian, this is a Jew trying to tell us that uh, one man's sin will go upon him on the cross. He's talking of Jesus, the sinless one, the perfect one, you know. And this Muhammad, who is a sex pervert, a uh, lustful prophet, uh, I mean, all the nonsense, the bandit, raiding. Do you know the funny yeah. thing, Hassan? Sure. Uh, Do you know the funny thing? The funny is our brother and sister Muslim always saying, we are Tawheed, we believe in Tawheed, we believe it. But do you know, even Muhammad himself, he doesn't know what the Tawheed is till one Jewish guy came and teach him. Jewish! Jewish guy teach it Muhammad what is the Tawheed. Yes. Muhammad claimed he is a messenger of Allah and the Muslims saying we believe in Tawheed only only Islam is Tawheed Tawheed and they doesn't know even Muhammad doesn't know what the Tawheed is till the Jewish guy came and teached Muhammad to do Tawheed because he is a shirk he's a mushrik he's a polytheist I can prove it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari, from authentic hadith. Muhammad is polytheist. Jewish guy came and teached him literally Tawheed. And he said, stop commit shirk to the Muhammad. <laughs> Do you want the source? Come. Sure. Mr. Yeah, Tawheed. Sure. Let me show you Mr. Tawheed. And they came and they're saying, Oh, we believe in Tawheed. Oh, la la, Tawheed. Mm. If Muhammad is a mushrik, Jewish guy teaching him the Tawheed, he doesn't know what the Tawheed is. Smash Allah, my brother. Uh, let me pull it up from here. Uh, there's that brother who was asking about Trinity in the in the book. Okay. 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 Just a second. Let me finish it. This. This is a from Sahih al Nasai. Let's translate it. I'm not sure if we can believe it in Sunnah and can found it in Sunnah.com. Let me see if I can found it in Sunnah.com. Give me a second. However, when I talk, he has to send a request. He has to send a request because V, he is scared from his religion. He doesn't trust his religion. He didn't trust his prophet. He didn't trust his Allah. He just talking, talking, talking. Okay. Look here, Mr. Tawheed. We believe in Tawheed. Let me bring my teacher stick. Mr. Tawheed, let me show you the shirk. Muhammad Mushrik. Jewish guy, he teaching Muhammad how to do Tawheed. Mr. Mushrik. There you go. Sunan al Nasai, hadith number 3773. It was narrated from Abdullah ibn Yasar, Yasar uh, from Qutayba, uh, Qutayla, a woman from Juhayna, that a Jew, what? A Jew came to the Prophet and said, You are sitting up reveals to Allah and 
associating what associating others with him wow jewish guy called muhammad you associating other with allah which means you are a polytheist muhammad you say whatever allah wills and you will boom and you say by the kaaba so the prophet commanded them if they wanted to swear on an oath to say by the lord of the kaaba boom so who's a polytheist muhammad muhammad literally he is a polytheist and the jew guy he came and educate him about tawhid so i don't want to see any brother muslim dawa saying you are a tawhid no if you're a prophet muhammad associating associating other with allah what kind of tawhid that if the jew guy didn't teach muhammad muhammad is still mushrik polytheist pagan and he came to tell me you are a tawhid hadith what hadith what sahih authentic now we needed any pagan brother following pagan muhammad to tell me who is your pagan allah any pagan brother hmm. do you got it the hadith brother and sisters use it shlomo habibi shlomo pshena rudi aziza challenge allah habibi on your own i'm challenging already your allah but your Allah doesn't exist. It's a fake idea Muhammad created. Your Allah, it doesn't exist. Your Muhammad created Allah. Fake idea. I challenge you if you prove it to me, your Allah is exist. I challenge you. Neil, yeah. can't prove to me your Allah is exist. Tell me about your Allah being. Tell me about your Allah being. Yalla. Who knows his Allah being? No one of you. V. Be a man. I trust your pagan Allah. And prove to me he is exist. Do you know what? Let me make it easy for you. Prove to me your prophet Muhammad does exist from outside islamic books and you will win a donkey gift i will send you donkey gift yeah prove to me your prophet muhammad exists because too hard to prove to me your allah's exist from outside islamic books do you know what prove to me ali is exist omar exist abu Bakr exist from outside islamic books I'm, I never accept Islamic books. Give me from outside Islamic books. Why I don't want to accept it? Because be talking about historical, right? For example, if I bring a book to you and I told you Hola Lola is exist, Hola Lola, he is Allah, you will accept it? No, you will tell me, prove to me outside of your book right come prove to me now your prophet muhammad is not polytheist your prophet muhammad is exist your allah is exist even ali exist no problem go to arab country i'm from arab country i am cousin of the arab so
يلا حبيبي I'm from first Arabic in the world country first Arab country in the world do you know which country first Arab country in the world if you know the history hmm? first Arab language in the world no Egypt is not Arab Egypt is not Arab don't said Egypt even Lebanon is not Arab Even Saudi Arabia is not Arab. Palestine is not Arab. Syria, exactly. No, on Yemen, no. Syria. Because you guys mentioned it to Egypt. Egypt is not. Yemen is uh, the, the the grandfather of Yemeni is not Arab. He's Malakite. Saudi Arabia too is Malakite. And if you go to the study the language of Arab, first language in Arab, using the using. Um, Nabati Aramaic language. Nabati Aramaic language using to write it down and to communicate. Hoka, Hoka, he said, please shut up. Let me see if you have enough followers. If not, I will put you put you on the right side. Accept my in, uh, invite, yalla. Yalla, ya. Uh, boy. Accept my invite. Yalla. Let's see who will shut up now. After proving. Hmm? Scared. Scared. Now start. Insulting on command, right? I'm not confusing. I'm not confusing. Do you know why? Because I know the Islam religion. I know the Quran. I know Sunnah. I know what your prophet, what your Allah teaching you exactly. For that, I'm not confusing. I'm not surprised. Because I know your religion better than you. And your moral coming out from Quran and Sunnah. Yes, it's not coming out from the from the Bible. Absolutely not from Quran and Sunnah. Quran and Sunnah teaching you to insult the other, disrespect the other, talking bad word, f word with the other. Quran and Sunnah, your prophet and your Allah, teaching you literally that. For that, I'm not confusing, not surprised. Ahmad Sultan, come up. Hey Ahmed, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, just curious, uh, what made you leave Islam? Why did you leave Islam? Because I don't want to worship this guy. Okay, I see. It's nothing to do with your, maybe like some bad incident happened to you when you were a kid. Or the bad stuff. thing, the bad thing, I will tell okay. you what the bad thing. Yeah. The bad thing, more than 35 years, I mm -hmm. prostrate, bow down, asking help from this statue. I see. So where are you from originally? Where, which country are you I'm from? I'm from first Arab nation country. First Arab nation country? Egypt? Egypt? Egypt is Arab. It's Pharaonian. Ya I don't know. But like, are you Egyptian? Egypt is not Arab. I see. Okay. Syria. So, Syria. Syria is first Arab nation country. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Like, it might sound a little personal to... Where are you from? It's your turn. Well, where from are you pa from? From Pakistan. From Pakistan. From Pakistan. Yes. So, so no, how do you understand the Quran? Oh, I, 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 well, it's something like I have to understand it. I just read the. You use the translation, translation, right? Yeah, translation. Yeah, yeah. But like, which means no, you are not understanding the original scripture. 
right? I don't know, like, no, I don't care okay. about the race, no, the, uh, there is only one scripture. So, do though. you believe but, in Allah or you don't care? I, I do, I do, I do, yeah, but like, no. Do you pray you, five times a day or Islam, you don't care? Did you adopt another religion? Did you adopt another a brother, religion? A brother Ahmed, uh, yeah, we yeah. will go to this point. Okay. But let's answer my question first. Yeah. So, do you pray five times a day or you don't care? I try, I try, you know, like I'm not 100%. You try, so try. which means you are not praying five times a day. I, I try, I try, and if there is a weakness, I... You so know, let me I, give you good news. Let me give you good news. Okay. According to your Prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. if you didn't pray I see. morning a prayer yeah. in the masjid, mm -hmm. jama'ah communicate with the other believers I see. in a masjid, morning mm -hmm. a prayer, yeah. they should, they okay. should. I see, okay. Burn it, you and your house. You don't have to take it in literal sense. What it means is no, that like... No, it's literal he, sense. He, Do you want me to give you the no, hadith from your prophet? Mind, right? I asked Ahmed, this question Ahmed, to my mom, Ahmed, and he said... Your that religion, he, Habibi, yeah, Ahmed, yeah, yeah. your religion is literally, is not metaphorical. It is metaphorical, that's what they want. You, no, your religion he, is he, not. So your that, religion who, is who not. Do I, who do for I example, now, you or my mom? For example, let me give you an example. Yeah. For example, when your Allah said, yeah. and the thief cut his hand, Okay. do you think that is metaphorical to cut his hand? Well, like there is an example during the time of Omar, there was a famine in Arabia and Omar stopped it because, you know, everybody was hungry. So it depends upon like what is the motive when you steal. If you are stealing just, what you know, a bread. What, 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 what are you talking listen, about, listen, brother? Listen, brother, listen, listen, brother listen. you create a new story. No, no, no. Please, brother, like I ask you through. Give Look, me the how, source. How do you know more than that, you know, what I've heard from I, a because, professional Because is first of all, first oh, of all, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. This is my mother tongue, your religion, okay. your Quran, your Sunnah you, you is my mother. No, let me finish Arab my, pl too. please, uh, uh, Ahmed, here, right? Ahmed, mother tongue does not I will give you a chance, I will give you a chance too. and time to respond, but at least give me chance and yeah. time to respond, okay, for the audience understanding what we're talking about, right, we just don't want to arguing, we don't want to, you know, interrupting each other right for you understand my opinion and i understand your opinion right cool first of all my brother when i told you there is no source according to your story give it to me why because your religion in my mother tongue so when i born i didn't drink a milk from my mother i drink arabic language from my mother for that, I study at your religion before I do my own research after 35 years. 35 years, I'm studying your religion under the Sheikh hand, Salafi. I study the Quran very well, and I study the Tafsir very well, and I study the Hadith very well, and I study the Sirah very well, and I study the Fiqh also very well. There is not such a thing like you said from your books. I know this story is coming from where? This story is coming from opinion of Sheikh the day of worship, the Friday day. When the Sheikh came to give you khutbah al Jum'a, ah, he allowed, Allah allowed him to create fake stories for you make, make you happy and love Islam. But absolutely, this story you're just telling me about is a fake story. There is no such source, even weak hadith or weak uh, seerah to, to prove it to me. Go, go, go answer, respond, prove anything you want to prove it. Yeah, well, first, you know, I understand that you are an Arab and it's your mother tongue. But then again, like, you know, there are things that you in order to understand properly you need to go to a religious school have you been to an imam or a religious school to understand these things like these controversial do you, things did that you listening have? to me when i start talking brother yes, or I you are not to here you, but like you, you are out, i can assumption. see you are outside of your mind no, no. You made an assumption. why your, your because assumption from beginning ahmed 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 so ahmed ahmed yeah, 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 yeah. from I'm the beginning listening. i told you i yeah. study your religion under the sheikh hand from the beginning 
Okay. For that, you are outside of your mind, bro. Mm -hmm. Focus. When I'm talking, focus, so, please. So, so now. Saying, so what's your confusion then? Okay. So what's can you tell confusion? me who's Allah? Can what? you tell me about Allah being? What What do you know? He's the creator. I no, that is not being. That yeah. is attribute. Okay. I want to know about his being. No, if I said this guy, no. if I said Ahmad is um, a driver, which means your being is a driver? No. I want to know your Allah being if your Allah exists. Go ahead. No, it's a theological question. Nobody has an answer to that. No, right? Quranic. It's a belief. Give me from Quran. So which means you worshipping fake idea. No, no. Qul huwa Allah. Your Allah doesn't Allah exist. What does Samad oh. is? Do you know what does Samad meaning, brother? Yeah, can no, can no, I no, speak something? Like him. Yeah, just a second, Hassanin. Do you know what does Samad meaning? Ahmad? Yeah, I know, like, no, I understand. No, you don't know because like, in my tongue, words, in my language, like, the yeah. Samad meaning smooth stone, empty from inside, didn't accept the dust. I see. That's Samad okay. meaning. Okay. In so, Arabic, we said, as samad huwa al amlasu min al hajar, mujawaf, la yaqbal al ghubar, wa la yadkhul hu ghubar. So, is, is it right? your personal interpretation or like it's the. No, according to Ibn, Ibn Kathir, old interpretation, first, uh, first uh, version of interpretation of Ibn Kathir. I see. Okay. So, what do you think? Like, you, you think that Allah is a stone? Your Allah, literally, He is a stone. Why? Because I prove it. I mm -hmm. prove it. I have two months okay. every day opening live stream. Go, brother, I advise you, Ahmed, go to my yeah. YouTube channel. You can see the link in the bio. You can see okay. more than more than five live stream. Mm -hmm. I prove it literally. Muhammad is pagan. He has a statue in his house after he claimed he is a messenger of Allah more than 20 years. Okay. Like, and no. he keep it and he keep it the statue of mother mary and jesus christ inside the kaaba till he died so yeah, if if he was a pagan then why did he have to break all the idols in the kaaba so not muhammad not the sense. scholar after muhammad creating a new religion I see. okay so that's but interesting. during muhammad time all is pagan same i see so you think that all of them were pagans yeah you guys pagan religion but after muhammad died during yeah. abdul malik bin marwan created mm -hmm. a new religion for you guys but that's not like you know that is not that was the proof not making that any was sense the proof. i see that yeah. was a proof Allah. ask me the proof to prove it to you okay do you want me to prove one hadith for you uh, yeah, yeah, but like this is your personal assumptions, right? Your personal assumptions. Not my it. person. Your sources. Okay. Your Give authentic me, like, hadith. One of my your source, Quran. One of my source, either from the Quran okay. or from the hadith. From Which one, one greater, according to your opinion? For I gave you from there. Pardon? Can you give a reference Let from the Quran or from the Hadith? You, you, you are very welcome. The book, the book of Hadith. Sahih Bukhari or like uh, from the Musaf, the Quran? Bukhari and Muslim. Like Bukhari. it? Bukhari. Bukhari. I told you I will give you Bukhari and Muslim. Okay, even like better it? then. Even better. No, Muslim better than Bukhari. Do you know why? Why? Because Bukhari, he has in his book Mu'allaqat. Do you know what the Mu'allaqat is? Uh, if you translate it into English, I would know it, but that this word I don't know. Like maybe like something that is not authenticated. Okay, or... some hadith. Yeah. Your scholar said some hadith in Bukhari. Yeah. Is not authentic, but okay. all the Sahih Muslim book is authentic. That's good. Okay. Yes. So let me give you from most authentic book, beautiful hadith. Show me the book, please. Mm. Okay. This Sahih Muslim, yeah, one eight to seven, right? Okay, it has been narrated on the authority of Abdullah ibn Umar, son of Umar ibn al Khattab, yeah, Abdullah.
right? That the messenger of Allah, peace, 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 said, Behold, this, uh, dispensers. the dispensers of justice of justic will be settled on the pulpits on of light beside Allah on the right side of the merciful exalted and glorious either side of the being is the right side both being equal which means both side of your Allah is right so your Allah has a two right side look also authentic hadith Sahih from who? From Sunan al Nasa'i. Right? Also, again, he said, the right hand of most merciful, those who are just in their rulings and in their dealings with their females. At the right side of your Allah so both of your Allah hand is right right let me give you another hadith your Allah also going to hellfire Cut, cut. I'll give you authentic hadith. Okay. Sahih al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim too. Sahih al Bukhari, look at it. Travel 6 1. Narrated Anas ibn Malik, most authentic high uh, companion of Muhammad. The Prophet said, the hellfire will keep on saying, Are there any more people to come? Till the Lord of power and honor will put his foot over it. Your Allah will put his, fo his foot where? Over the hellfire, right? Right? Which okay, means your Allah I going to hellfire? And then it will say, cut, cut, sufficient, sufficient, by your power and honor. And it is various, various uh, side will come close to each other. So your Allah, the hellfire will keep on saying there is any more people coming to hellfire. Tell your Allah put his foot over it. At that time will saying sufficient, sufficient, enough, enough. Right? So Which means your Allah going to hellfire? <laughs> that, that, that's a very funny way of your as you said like it's your own interpretation so your, your Allah going your to hellfire so okay so the hellfire will keep on saying what it's written over the here. hellfire will yeah. keep on saying what are there any more people to come yeah. right yeah. so those people is a physical body has it right yeah so to the hellfire Right? The people have physical bodies, like for instance, yes. you, you are tell, physical Tell body, what physical body. they will keep on saying, there is yeah. uh, any any more people to come, tell okay. what? Yeah. Tell what? Tell the Lord of Power. Okay. And Continue. Put his foot over it. And Why he will say, put his foot over it? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You just read it. For that, I telling, I told you, brother, you are yeah. outside of your mind. You read it and you didn't understand it. So I understand. I understand your Allah that, uh, will put his foot God because the hellfire. Any more people, and then he will put his. Yes, and then brother. Say, which means, by your power and all which that. means, your Allah will put physical foot inside it. Okay, then. Right? So which means you're Allah going to hellfire. It does not mean that. It does not he mean that. He entered it or not. This is your own interpretation. 
He entered or not? Can I give you an example in English? Okay, in so English? those people entered. Okay. Okay. Those people. Okay. Bro, those yeah. people entered to the hellfire or not? Can I ask you, can I just give an example to explain? And it? your Allah will, your Allah will be red mirror to put his foot in a hellfire. Okay, so right? you think, like, putting his foot in the in the hellfire uh, like means that like he'll for he'll, that the hellfire will keep on saying well the f hell are f uh, hell uh, uh, hellfire will saying what uh, enough enough sufficient. enough enough right yes, so, because your yeah. Allah put his foot in it yeah so which means your Allah entered to the hellfire no that does not be mean that like it's not so, like what you do you so you mean your allah food is not allah food no this is not like how the way that you are like explaining it is not the correct way i, I can give you an it's example it's very clear the hadith ahmad the hadith no, is very it's clear not like that's why i say that so you this is to, allah food you know, in order to understand this is allah food the context you have to be do to okay. explain, uh, read it in under the observation like you know like uh, okay to, uh, can you to, tell me this is allah food or not his food yeah what's going on to his food he's placing it in the hellfire as per this hadith so we'll enter it to the hellfire right okay then right yeah so if allah food place it in a hellfire yeah which means you're allah in hellfire or not he put his foot Okay, his foot in a hellfire, right? So what's it? What is bad about it? Like if the okay, just a second, Habibi. So your Allah foot in a hellfire, right? So, yeah. So which means part of your Allah body in a hellfire? <laughs> That's a funny way of interpretation, right? So yeah, it's like you know, it's just saying, this is Allah foot or not? At the scene of the crime, if I am at the scene of the crime, does that make me a criminal? Okay, so this Allah so foot question, or not? If I am at the scene of a crime, does that make me a criminal? So this is Allah foot or not? Well, this is Allah foot, but like my question to you okay. is how do so you... So this is metaphorical food no, no, forget or physical about food? Metaphor or not metaphor. Like if he places his foot so, in the hellfire, what's wrong with it? Where do you see the problem? The no problem? problem, I doesn't have any wrong with it. But yeah. at least you have to admit that your Allah entered to the hellfire. He That's placed it. his foot in the hellfire, yes. Done. So who go who going to hellfire according to your opinion? No, no. That is your funny interpretation. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I prove it to you from Quran, from Quran, you're Allah sinner, criminal. And yet that's like your if own I prove it from your Allah from your Allah tank brother no, what can the hell from your Allah tank the God is above all right like the God your Allah is not God him. Habibi your yeah. Allah is not God God no he, he is a moon God coldness and hotness that no matter to him hellfire is nothing to him Sultan 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 uh, point is the point why we are saying all this is because your, your your god the way muhammad explained does not make sense because how do you bring fake stories that allah allah puts his foot i mean spiritually look at the bible look at these prophets how they spoke about hell look at how they taught about spiritual things up concerning hell and heaven there's nothing that allah has a foot you know muhammad was picture in his mind he was seeing allah like a human being for example those verses whereby he descends at night to answer prayers and goes back to sit on his chair i mean he's depicting god as a human who is not even omnipresent i mean he's he doesn't have knowledge about god from the perspective that's why you're looking at everything of your hadith is nonsense because they i, I mean look at the fiction in quran if you have read quran there's no sense in it there's no wisdom even Apostle Paul, the author of the Bible, in terms of the New Testament, challenges author of Quran. I mean, if you say the Bible is words of men, the me okay. it proves that the me so yes. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. Like you know, you found some mistakes. So, do you know of a religion that does not have any mistakes? And if the, the religion that you Listen, think is the Jesus correct one, preach religion. Listen, Jesus okay. didn't preach religion Jesus? because one, okay. to something. Religion is human tradition to please God. I'm not saying human tradition is bad, but it's not a prerequisite for heaven. 
So Jesus which told according to you, which one is the correct religion? Which one is the correct one? No, there's nothing like religion. Jesus taught reconciliation relationship with God. For you, let me call. Your swallow is not prayer. Your swallow is routine. I call it a routine whereby you go on sujood, subhanahu rabbi Allah wa bihamdi, subhanahu rabbi alazim. You just repeat words, repetitive words. Jesus condemned that. Jesus says it's not about repeating words, keeping God on lips. It's about the heart pouring your soul onto God. Using your words, not cramming the words. You cram the words do, as if the words, you're worshipping the words actually. You're not even worshipping God. You say, you think by reciting some the words, God will answer your prayers. God can answer any word as long as you express your heart. It doesn't matter which the word. But you people, you cram the words. You just have God in lips and your prayer, your swallow. Your swallow is routine. Your swallow is not prayer. It is routine. You just repeat words. Imagine, imagine you're in swallow. You, you imagine you're in swallow. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Then you bring a verse. Oh, oh, prophet permitted to you are your mother's sisters. How does that help us spiritually? I mean, you bring, okay, you choose any verse from the Quran, a story. Actually, like there are stories there. And there's no wisdom. There's nothing you're learning. It's just attacking hatred. There's no wisdom. For example, Apostle Paul teaches us. Okay, you know why, why I like uh, why I like Arabic? I because I speak Arabic. Why I like Both Arabic is because it's yes. Uh, why I like Arabic is because it's the language that can make nonsense sound good. Like the way Quran brings, you know, you Muslims, you just practice vocal, you learn nothing. You just go and express how you recite. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Washamsi wa dhuha. Welcome, Aridat Allah. I mean, it's just more of rhythm, vocal, but you ask the Muslim, what have you learned? What is your God telling you? There's no sense. You need to look for hadith to give your Allah sense. Allah is the worst okay. of communicators. So, like, uh, I yes. Understand that you know, that okay. is Islam okay. summarized. Let's wrap it up. And I understand that like you have like some dissatisfactions with your previous religion which was Islam and now you have you know, lost your faith, you have left it. So what listen is Sultan, what is the, the first prophets, you see, listen, I believe the prophets, the reason why I'm speaking this is because I believe all the prophets. The prophets said, the prophets taught us to discern the true messengers of God told us to discern and test if spirits are from God. We should test and see if this is a true prophet of God because the Bible says, first prophets, we shall see them by actions. The true prophet said, he shall pour his spirit upon all flesh. I mean prophecy. Prophets are not limited in the Bible. Anyone can be a prophet, but the difference is covenant bringers. There's only all, there's only Jesus Christ and Moses. Those are the only covenant bringers. But anyone can be a prophet. But the question is, which prophet? A prophet is anyone who converts yeah, the message like from you, God. You believe that Jesus is God, right? Yes, from prophecy, as written in scripture, it is scripture. It's it's not only Christians who so proved who is it. The Holy Spirit and the Mother then. Okay, let let me ask you a question. Didn't the prophets say a child is born and will be, he will be called Mighty God, Prince of Peace? Isn't it written? How was it fulfilled? Let me explain it to him. This point. Let me explain. No, it I'm asking you that like how could okay, God be treated? Like Sultan, if your religion you is the correct one, can you, how could be okay, God treated? Can you give me a chance to respond? Okay, uh, Ezek Sultan, Ezekiel okay. teaches us that um, I'll put his say, to you. Habibi. Thank you. Sultan, you ask beautiful question, Habibi. Who is the Holy Spirit and who is a mother of Jesus? Thank you so much. So we believe as a Christian the God have been. Our God have been. Not like your Allah doesn't have a being. Our God is exist. The Father. He is alive. The Holy Spirit. He is a smart. Has a word. The Son. Who is the Son? The Son of God. The Son of God, before the body of Jesus, there is no Jesus. There is Son of God. In John 1, in John 1, he said, In the beginning was word. Beginning of what? Begin when God started to create the creation. He created the creation with His word. His word is the Son of God. His word prepared the body for himself in Mother Mary. Womp, and he sent his word appeared in this womp, in this body. He prepared it for himself. So, John 4, 24, he said, the God is a spirit, right? But the God, we believe the God is almighty. He can do however he wants to do. He can do it. 
he created a body for himself and Mother Mary one, and he sent his word appeared in this body first. So who is Jesus Christ? He is the word of God appeared in a flesh. Nobody can see the God, but we see the God through Jesus Christ because he said Jesus Christ also in John, he said, however, who see me, he see the Father. Why? Because we can't see, we can't see the word of God. Logos, we said in the Greek language. So, word of God appeared in a body. If you believe that God is almighty, beautiful. If you don't believe that God is almighty, that is your Islamic problem, but I can prove it to you. Your Allah is not almighty. He can do whatever he wants. But let me continue this. So now, Sultan, you are exist. You have a body, right? You are exist. And you are alive. You have a soul. And you are smart. You have a word. Can I say Sultan is a tree person? Or one person? Yeah, but like for God to be all powerful, why would he need to come can to I said, that does Can I say Sultan that is a tree sense. person? Sultan, you are not yeah. here. Yeah. Can I say Sultan is a tree person? Or one person? It's very difficult question because like you're saying that the God is in me. Okay, so, so you are you are exist, right? So I am possessed. I am possessed by God. Okay, so you are exist, right? No, no. You're saying that I am possessed by the God. No, no, no. You have to keep keep in my topic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't change it. Yeah. So now you are exist, right? No, I am too. You are not fake idea. I, I am a human so you are not fake idea. You are exist. Alien being has possessed. You are alive. You are alive. Yes, I am alive. You are smart. You have a mind. You have a brain. You have I'm a world. Yes. Okay. The God, what He said in a, in a Genesis, the God said, "Let create Adam on our image, consciousness. We are Trinity, like our God. We are exist." alive smart for that the human being greater than animals got it now well, it's clear to you but it's not clear to me yeah. got it now which no. point is not clear to you well, like why would god need a human body for you for why? me for salvation no, why can't because for the day of judgment body? Why would he For the day of judgment, body? okay, do you allow me to respond? Yeah. You want to answer well, or you imagine, don't want to answer? Listen, listen. Imagine if a voice comes from the sky. Do you, you, uh, you don't want to like, answer? You, know, you don't want to answer, it. Sultan. Yeah. Now keep on your Allah now. I don't want to waste our time. So tell me who's your Allah. But like, you didn't answer my questions about who's your Allah. No, no, no. You are not looking for the answer. For that, yeah. I will save my word. Yeah. I never throw my word in front of you. I so think. now tell me, who's your Allah? My Allah Does your Allah exist? Allah Samad, Allah Ahad, what the Ahad, Ahad meaning? Like, Can you tell me what the Ahad one. meaning, Sultan? What? What the Ahad meaning? Is one. Allah is one. It's not like no, three. one like, of. Have three gods, right? One my of. God is one. So Full we one have example one. in Quran, Sultan. We have example in Quran. Your yeah. Allah said, وَمَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدْ أَبَا أَحَدٍ which means Muhammad is not father of one of your men. So Ahad meaning one of. Your Allah one of what? One of a statue. No. One of Muhammad servants. One of what? Your Allah. He, is, is he there. It means that he is the only one, or the only. No, creator. only That's one. He Ahad should. He should country. said Al Awhad. No. Al Awhad, only one. Ahad, one of in Arabic language. You are the first Arab that that have understood it. No, do you want me? Do you want me show you from translation? So are you the only one? Do you want me show you from translation? Yeah, a twisted translation, man. No, I'm not twisting. I will show you Google Translate front of your eye and I will write it down 
Al-Awhad, he will give you only one. Ahad meaning one of, one of what, your Allah? No, it's not, doesn't mean one of, it means no, just one, one. Can you tell me number, number one in Arabic? Wahid. Number one. Wahid. Wahid is not Ahad. Yeah, Wahid is same? Ahad? Wahid is Ahad? Okay. It's just like, you know, saying that brother and bro are not no, the no. same then. No, I said, I said, can you tell me number one in Arabic? You said Wahid. But it's not Ahad. Why you didn't say Ahad? Number one in Arabic. If, uh, if Ahad is number one, only one, why you didn't say, when I ask you number one in Arabic, you said ah, uh, Wahid. You didn't say Ahad. In any language, there are different words that mean no, same things. So you came, you came to teach with, me my know, language. Aspects of it. As you know you that didn't I'm understand even person. one word in Arabic. And if you go you to came to teach me my language. What does this word mean? This word mean? This word mean? You just Sultan, do you have a Quran? Them. Sultan, do you have a Quran? Yes, I do. Okay, bring it and I will show you on camera something. Okay, like you okay. Should show and I see. I'll see and I'll note it down. I'll take a screenshot. Okay. Surat Lahzab, verse 40. Okay. Let me show you this. This is Arabic language. Okay. This Saudi Arabia website. Ma kana Muhammadun. Aba, what is this? Ahadin. Ahadin, right? Yes, Mir Rijalikum. Min Rijalikum. Mir Rasulullahi wa Khatimin Nabiyin. Wa kana Allahu bi kulli shayin alima. So, what is this? Ahad, right? Yeah. So, what the Ahad meaning? One of. Because he said literally, Muhammad, he is not one of your men. No, 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 that's the wrong translation. You're way off here. This is what not the standard translation. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. The standard so, translation Surat al is, wait, 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 wait. Muhammad wait, does not have a wait. son. Okay, wait. 33, 40, right? Mm -hmm. Quran Nobel. You like it? No. Nobel Quran? That's not an authentic one. Uh, which one you like it? Google Which it. interpretation? Google it. But Quran X is not acceptable. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of translation? Choose one, any translation you like it. Okay. Pick and scroll, choose. Scroll because slowly. Islam is pick and choose. Huh? Okay. Now so we will choose write... all translation and tell me which translation you like it. Okay. Type. English translation of Quran and choose the okay, first wait, link wait, that wait. appears. Uh -huh. Look how many translation? Twenty-four. No, 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 no. Google it. Twenty-four translation. translation. Is your 24. website? Is your scholar's translation? Not mine. Okay, so the first one, Muhammad is not the father of any man among you. Of any what? Of, God. of yes. any what? Of any man. Okay, so Makana Muhammad Aba Ahadin. What that mean, Ahad? No, go with this English translation now. The so what the Ahad Ahmad meaning? The, the Ahmad Ali? So you accept that. Ahmad Ali? Yes, yes. So what the, what the Ahad, where is the Ahad here? No, go with the translation now. Okay, so which word is the translation of Ahad? Any? In, so any is a Ahad? Any is a Ahad? Which one? one? Okay. Languages cannot be Sultan. by one by word Sultan. by word. Sultan. Sultan. Yeah, you have to understand so that. So Ahad, which one is Ahad? Any? Language. Ahad is any? Yes. That's Bravo. the meaning of it. So your Allah is any, not oh, Ahad, not the, the one. It is raining cats and dogs now. It's raining cats so and dogs. So you are, uh, your Allah, English? you accept it, your Allah is no, any. No, no. no you which means someone. It. You're twisting the translation and you are... No, no you way. accept it, your you Allah, you Ahad. Ahad meaning any, which means someone. No, no, no. You, you, this is like you know you you not understanding it. You do no, not have it's the yours. You do not have the understanding of this uh, Quran. Me, I'm not understanding my language. 
the English translation is there. What's wrong? Why? why no, I'm understanding my language. Go with the because my language, no, no. my go language, down, ahad down, meaning go one down, off. Go down, Ahmad Ali. Yeah, the translation by Ahmad Ali. Can this is Ahmad it? Ali. Yes. So Can which word it? is the translation of ahad? No. See, like now you have a translation right there. Okay. But Tell me which like one is ahad. It. Which one is ahad? This which one. word Muhammad is ahad is in English? This is what it means. Like Okay. Muhammad so which means Allah, 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 which Allah. means ahad meaning not the father? No. The the sentence. You have to see the full okay. sentence. Okay. Tell what me the translation of Muhammad ahad, Allah, Mr. Allah, sentence. Allah. Give me the translation the of ahad, not go, Mr. Don't sentence. Don't go word by word because that's why where you make a mistake. Don't go word when, by when word. You're going by word by oh, word, which mistake. means wait. Now you prove it to everybody. The Quran is English. Is not translation word by word, literal trans, literally translation, right? Yes, and it's I gave opinion. you an example. I gave you an example. Yeah, which like, means what is the translation of it is raining cats okay, and dogs. Okay, so the translation in Quran to the English is opinion of a scholar, right? It's not You're literal. Not answering my question. I, I ask you a question that bro, if I say in English, bro, where's where's my answer? Dogs, what, where what where is my mean? question? You're just jumping to ask. Answer my question first. Mean? You okay, so now it. you're you saying Quran in English, Sultan, English. Sultan. Yes. You're saying Quran in English is not literal translation. What do you mean by like it's it cannot be translated word to word and it's why an, uh, it's a why? universal sacred why? in languages when you translate why we can't translate we translate the Bible already literal. Okay. Yes, but like you why can't, we can't translate the Quran literal word by word you to cannot the, do it word by word. Like it's not like why? this word means it. okay, like Sultan. translate it in your Sultan. own language. Why do you know why? Just a second, listen, I said. Do you know why? Listen, Sultan? Do you know why? Can can you I ask you like can you translate Do you know Arabic why it's raining cats and dogs? Do you know or not? Tell me if you don't know. Do you know why you can't mistakes. translate the Quran literal? You're making mistakes. Okay, answer my question first. After that, correct my mistake. Do you know why you can't translate the Quran from Arabic to other language literally? It's the problem with all the languages. You can't translate English. Do you know? Into Farsi, no, the problem you from your Allah Farsi side. Into Do you know word why? Word. You because your Allah, because your Allah in Quran, you have more than five or six verses. Your Allah didn't allow you to translate to other tra tra other language why because your allah he said literally we send this book in arabic language arabic language very clear arabic language for you understanding so for that no one of your scholars can translate your quran to other language Hiran. Why? Because Allah didn't allow you to translate to other language. Haram! Your Allah speaking Arabic, Allah language is Arabic, Allah book is Arabic, only Arabic. This translation in English is opinion of your scholars. It's not literal. 